you doing? How you doing? Back, here. Back at the Island House, I love this place. I really do. Always great audiences. Yeah, they call me the old guy. Of course, I'm following Grandpa, but I'm not used to doing that. But, uh, you know, hey, I'll tell you what. Being old isn't bad. What I used to do all night, it takes all night to do. My wife still likes it. Yeah. Anyway, let me let me give you a quick idea of something. Most comedians are want to be something else's. A lot of us have tried singing. I can't carry a tune in a bushel basket with a plastic lino. You know, there's a want to be actors. You know, we got a guy here that was a writer for another comedian. I wanted to be a magician. With your permission, I'm going to show you a little magic act. I'm going to need help from the young lady from the audience. So, can I get a volunteer, please? Any one of you, please. Somebody over there. Oh, there, oh come on, don't be chicken. It won't well, hurt. I'm like, Bruce, what do you want me to do? I said a young lady, not a gay Jew guy. <laughs> come on, honey. Please stand right there. I want you to identify, for, everybody hear me okay without this microphone? Yeah. I want you to identify what that is. It's a shaker. What is it? It's a salt shaker. Now, I'm going to make that into a peach. You think I can do that? Sure. Let me show you how this works. Now, we're going to put the salt shaker in the magic little tap. That's it. Now, I don't want to touch it again because I don't want anybody to think I've done something funny. I want you to take that end of the tail and put it on that point. Put the point to the point. Very good. Now we're going to bring up that point, put it on the point. No, no, this point. This point. There you go. Now we're going to bring that point up and put it on this point. Very good. Now, I need you to rub it a little bit. Oh, I love it when I rub it. <laughs> All right? Now, you know what we started with? We started with a salt shaker, right? Now you tell me the truth, hon. Wouldn't that be a peach? <laughs> Thank you. I, uh, my wife called me just before I come on stage tonight. She's complaining. My dog, I got this male Shih Tzu that's got his toys. You know, he's got the jewels. Horniest thing you've ever seen. Anyway, my dog is hump humping the cat tonight. She said, what do you want me to do? I said, pat the dog on the head, say, good boy, give him a cookie. What do you else want? I'm out here, she's up there. You know, at least he's going to get some pussy tonight. It's more than I'm going to get. Let me explain that. My wife is mad at me. We were away the other week in the hotel, motel. She wanted me to get romantic. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed the cue. <laughs> I woke up in the morning, she was in the bathroom, and all of a sudden I realized, you know what? She had on the sexy nighty. She had on the perfume. I missed it. Walked up behind her, gave her a little kiss on the neck, tried to snuggle. She pulled away, walked in the bath in the bedroom. I'm a good boy, I followed. She picked up a pair of her panties, she threw them at me. She said, put these on. I thought, okay, we're gonna get kinky tonight. I'm ready for this. I put them on. She said, that's the only way you're getting into my pants today. <laughs> yeah. Drove her home. We drove home. I walked in the house. She was standing there. It's now 8 o'clock in the morning. She's getting ready to go to work. She's in the kitchen. She's tapping her foot. She's got her arms crossed. I'm getting the stare. Now all you married guys, you know what the stare is, right? Oh, yeah. If you're getting a stare, you screwed up big time. <laughs> all of a sudden it hit me. The weekend, the romance, the bop bop, I missed it all. I forgot her birthday. Oh, she looked at me. I said, honey, I'm sorry. I, I, I forgot your birthday. I'll make it up to you. I'm sorry. She says, you're damn right you're going to make it up to me. I want my birthday gift in the garage when I come home from work tonight. I want it to be light blue. I want it to have chrome. I want it to go from zero to 280 that quick. And she walked out to go to work. 
All right, guys, if you got a shot for a, a birthday present for your wife, your girlfriend, you know, your wherever, you got you know, you take ten days, you comparison shop, you look at models, you check rebates, right? I had nine hours. I scrambled. She walked in the in the garage that night after work. Her gift was in the garage. I met every one of her criteria. It was light blue. It had chrome. It went from zero to 280. That quick. I bought my wife a bathroom scale. <laughs> you guys have been great. Give every audience, every comedian the same as you've given me. You have a great job.